Okay, no, we're now recording. Um, so I'll just show you quickly one slide, um, which hopefully gives a bit of a, a reference. Um, can you see that? Yep. So yep. essentially, this is what um, the, the sort of the ethos of street pin is all about: um, having a sort of uh, the ability to have your own individual pin board. So this is, for example, a, a high street. Um, it could be the fashion store, the florist, the, the sort of the traditional retailers, but equally the services, like the, the plumbers, um, or it could be the, uh, the, the council, um, and people that are sort of off the beaten track. So if, if you're in um, the high streets and your bakery is behind the main drag, um, then it's, it's still a way that you sort of can, can get discovered locally. Um, the, the way that we're looking to, to grow is to bring together the retailers, the services, but equally the residential, um, education. Um, I've just got up a call with uh, a company about um, that, that helps churches get online and, and stuff like that. So it's all about being able to sort of utilise and, and really sort of have a mutually beneficial local environment uh, for, for lots of different types of community uh, in the area. So let me just move on to, to Street Pin and share this screen. So when you go to Street Pin, um, you'll end up on a starting screen, something like this. Um, you will probably see a little pop up first that will say, can we use your location? Uh, ideally do share your location, then that will give you a more tailored uh, experience. If you don't choose to use the location, um, then it will start you off in Central Croydon. Um, that's we have to have a, a starting point so uh, don't be surprised if you haven't allowed um, location you'll start in Croydon so you'll start you'll type in streetpin.com and if you press either get started or click on the logo the logo will always bring you back to uh, your current location so we click get started um, this will automatically show stuff that's in your area. So I'm currently based in Chelsfield. Um, this will then show underneath here. These are all the local posts uh, and offers of um, coming from pin boards in my immediate vicinity. So this is just stuff that's, that's near me right now. So I don't need to, to log in or go anywhere. Um, it will just automatically show um, live offers and conversations near me. Uh, these things here, these are called pins. Uh, these are these will these are pins on the map that will go to a pin board, so individual pin boards. And if you've got one with lots of groups like that, that's a hub. <clears throat> you can also search for anything. So um, let me just have a look what's nearby. So um, this one's uh, this one's talking about social media. So just as an example, I can type in I'm looking for something to do with social media in the local vicinity and if I do a search this has actually brought back three results near me so for Babel Monkey and BR6 Life um, so this could be something like um, I'm looking to get um, I'm looking to get my car cleaned so where do I where do I get this near me um, or I'm looking for um, a you need auto tool. gleam UK That's we do indeed we do indeed um, so I could put in that was I could put in car cleaning and if there's a um, a post or a comment uh, or a, an offer then this will be shown here um, so we can if we're looking for the BNI lightning uh, I could just type in BNI uh, so I could go to BNI lightning direct um, or I could look for any location so I could be somewhere near High Elms or I know it's in that vicinity <clears throat> Sorry, I've got lots of uh, people using the uh, internet in the house at the moment, so things might be a bit slow. Um, so you'll notice that um, as I've changed location, all the adverts and the posts have all changed as well. So this is whichever location you look at, um, it will show relevant content near you. So this is where we've placed Babel Monkey. And next to this is the BNI Lightning Hub. So either you can type in BNI Lightning in the search bar here, or you can search uh, by location. So we're going to go in here. Quick question, Tim. Hmm. Can you, 
is it when when you type in the search bar, for instance, so if I wanted valeting, can you put it in? Could I have it like that, or is it sub? Is it pre-selected? So there's already pre-categories. So I need to pick what I think I'd be under, or can um, tailor it. So this one is search pinboard. So this is searching the name. So if your company yeah. was called Valeting, it would come up there. Um, right. Or if it's a location, then that's say Orpington. Yeah. Um, this bit here, this is a search for a product or a service. So this actually searches for titles, um, body copy and tags. So um, when you create a, a post, if you've got sort of networking, BNI, Orpington, so if you had valeting or something like that, it just, it's a way of getting, um, it's a way of helping people search. So you can write a, a contextual post, but then yeah. equally write, people might just write valeting or someone might write car washing. So make sure you add all those different tags. Um, yeah. So this is where you search for the content. This is where you search for the actual, um, oh, no. don't want those ones. <laughs> so, BNI Lightning. So um, there you go. Look, there's a picture of a car. How, did that, how's that, how comes that's on there? There's a picture of a car that I've done. How, ah, how's that gone on there? So, did you put it on there? So, no, I haven't. <laughs> so on the, on the group, I sent, every, I sent um, a few people that said that they were interested. I sent a little demo. Um, so I sent this to you last week. All right, okay. Uh, so essentially what I did, I created Babel Monkey, Telecoms World, Jade Window Cleaning, Beauty Lounge, and Auto Gleam. So there is a an auto gleam pin oh, that's right. this is you missed it because you fell asleep lou and didn't wake up so <laughs> you, right. sent your, sent, you sent your details over to tim and he created it for you he's a legend we love you tim <laughs> <laughs> so um th this is a pin board here um and you you can customize um the, the colors and the and the fonts uh on the left hand side this is all stuff that you can control um, so there's a bit of an intro there, your contact details, opening hours, um, services, um, and you can add a little video on there as well. Um, so that's okay. your, your sort of, your pin board. Um, so that's the pin board for BNI Lightning, right? So, so this, this, for example, is a pin board for Babel Monkey. Yeah. So you'll see that there's nothing next to it here. If you look at the, there's a little sort of town bit here, mm -hmm. um, so that indicates that it's a hub. So this, I'll show you the, the pin board first then. Um, so Babel Monkey is, is like a child of the hub. So in that, in that diagram that I showed, all these pin boards feed into a central hub. So um, this, any content on here, so you'll see this, um, uh, Babel Monkey Lightning, uh, you'll see that this also appears here. Yeah, so a hub pulls together all the content of uh, any pin boards that are associated with it, or you can also add a post directly. So, up until now, everything you've seen, you don't need to be logged in. So, anyone can see this, anyone can find your details, anyone can share your products um, so to sign in let me just click out so i'll log out so you click this little icon at the top and this will bring you here so if you haven't got an account then sign up here or log in so you'll need to be logged in to create any content so if i go to bni lightning i'm just going to say um Great. We've got another meeting on Thursday. Oh, okay, yeah, doing it. Great. So this is just a quick demo. So the only thing that's mandatory, you need to put a some post content in there, and you need to choose a category. So just in terms of great to meet you, I'm going to add a, a, a couple of tags, and you could add something if it's only relevant for right now. Put it for an hour. The maximum you can have it is three months. And that's, um, we need to keep content fresh and relevant. So if you're talking about something that's happening tomorrow, don't leave it on for a week or a month or three months. Uh, it, it, you can put it for just as long as it's relevant. 
And you can actually use that if you're creating an offer. So for example, um, Lou, if you had somebody cancel in an afternoon yeah. um, and you wanted to put a last minute offer up, so I've suddenly got um, <clears throat> a couple of hours free this afternoon, it will be 20% off for anybody who wants their car sorted out. You would um, get in touch with me within the next couple of hours and then you would just put that on as an offer for one hour or whatever. How many people would see this? How many users are there? How many people use free for, for, for what they need so it's all it's all sort of localized and contextual so we are starting in, in different in, in different hubs so what we're aiming to do is empower people to be able to collaborate at a single location so if we have 10 of your members we, or each with a hub um, then every time they share it it'll be shared to their their sort of 10 followers uh, as well as your 10 followers. So right. um, at the moment we are getting going. Um, so we have uh, probably a thousand users. So it's, okay. it's low numbers at the moment, um, but we are getting started. Um, and obviously we're here to help you be able to actually empower you to create this and we'll help you share it and um, generate followers as well. So yeah, Tim, am I right in thinking that if I say Lou, created an offer like that if I were then to share it because I am part of FSB Bromley hub and uh, another FSB hub and an Orpington hub it would then go on to all of those pin boards as well <coughs> sorry all of those hubs as well um, so it's not not as simple as that um, so you can create posts in any of these um, hubs that that you're um that enable you to do so so sometimes you can lock it down but most hubs will be open so you can create a post in each one <clears throat> the, what i'm um there's also instead of a post there's also an offer so an offer is something you create once and you can target on multiple pin boards so that that's like an, an advert so an advert you can say i want this to, to appear on all pin boards in London, or I wanted this to appear only on a sports pin board. Um, so you can choose the category or the location. Um, okay. it's, it's an alternative to things like pay per click and keyword bidding, which is, can be quite complex. You sort of say, well, I know where my audience are. I know who I want to advertise to, either by location or by a community you know, or by, um, by saying I just want to advertise to sports or just to food and drink that sort of thing. I think you're going to have to take us through that one to actually give us a demo on it but I'm interrupting your flow Tim so sorry carry on. So yeah I'm just going to show you posts at the moment so I'm going to show you how to do posts and a pin board. Um, we can come to it offers in a separate one I think that will take a little bit more time. Um, so this is going on directly on to um, the BNI Lightning Hub um, and we're going to keep it there for an hour. We can add a, an image or we can add a YouTube link. So it's either or. So if you've got a video of some fantastic um, valeting uh, before and after, add the YouTube link there. So this is a direct post onto the hub. So as it's only a test one, it's gonna last for just an hour. Um, so this appears here. I'm also gonna quickly show you as Babel Monkey is connected to the hub. I'm going to quickly add a post here. Sorry, Sarah, I'm just going to mess up this just on your site. Um, so um, I'm just going to put this on there for an hour. So um, and then I could add a, an image or a YouTube link. But just to demonstrate the points, um, this is Babel Monkey's site, and you can also do that on Jade Window Cleaning or Beauty Lounge or Auto Gleam. So you'll see here uh, on Babel Monkey. And then if we oops, give this a quick refresh. On Babel Monkey, you see? And so mm -hmm. you, you can you can link back to the original pin boards. Um, so this appears on Sarah's site as well as the BNI site. So essentially this means that um, you can promote yourselves individually uh, and you can build up your own community. Um, but each post is also pulled back into a central hub. Uh, you can go through and say, well, actually, yeah, that's great. I can like, like something. Um, I can also add a comment. So um, 
just by clicking on this comment thing. Add comment. This is how you can sort of build up a community. So it's like a, a forum of um, posts and offers. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So if you saw something like the 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 auto gleam post there, Baby Monkey would actually then go in and say that looks fantastic, or you know, yeah. When yeah, you could actually leave like, oh, yeah. you do cars that have had dogs in them. Great, come do mine. <laughs> so so this this comment here, this is posted by me. Um, but this, if this was posted by Autogleam uh, or an account by Autogleam, if I like this or if I comment on this, either from the hub or from the pin board, then you'll get an alert saying someone has just um, responded to you. So you can go back in and, and reply to them. Um, in our next release next month, you'll be able to do um, a lot more following and sharing. So at the moment, you can't follow a hub but you can follow a pin board. Um, we'll update that. We'll be updating that next month. Um, so you'll be able to... Sorry, Tim, carry on. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know, it's all right. I was just saying, so in terms of the, the follow, if people follow you, then every time you or your community adds content to it, they'll get an alert. So it's a way of sort of keeping them sticky and keeping them uh, connected with your site. So is this only run on desktop or is it done by an app as well? So it's um, it's just it will work. It's it's responsive web at the moment. Um, so yeah. it'll work on mobiles and everything like that. Um, we will have um, a wrapper app next month. And a wrapper app basically is the mobile site that will be downloadable onto your mobile. So um, if it's uh, particularly on an Android, you'll be able to get sort of the, the instant um, notifications and stuff like that. Apple is a little bit more guarded about the notifications, so we'll have to build a native app for that, which is which will be down the line. Um, but we'll have um, apps that you can have on your phone uh, probably next month. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, Tim, so you see what you've put together there for a few of us already. Yep. Um, so I've logged in to Street Pin, well I've activated it, but it's it's not showing that I've got a pin board. Is that a pin board, or is that just something that you've done? So um, at the moment, um, it's something that I've made. What, what is what is your what's the business again? Uh, Jade Window Cleaning. Jade Window Cleaning. Okay. So essentially, this says create a street pin. So right. if you if you log in and let me know your username, then I'll swap right, this okay. over to you. And when, when okay, I swap fine. this over to you, so. If you, if you say my username is Jason Morrell, um, then what I'll do is I'll swap it over and then you'll become the creator here. Right. And then that'll be Jason's <laughs> pin board. That'll be Jason's pin board. And, and, then I, the, and then I can add stuff and bits and pieces and do things with absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah? So if and you so, in, I was uh, going just, to say, everybody else that you've created it for needs to do the same thing so that they yeah. can then take control of their pin board, yeah? Yeah, so up in here, there'll be a little icon that says um, register or log in. Um, once you log in, let me know your username and I'll transfer this over to you. Uh, and then that will be in, if you go to the menu, you can go to my pin boards, you'll see a list, well, a list, it'll be one uh, on there. Um, the actions, this, this little tick is to turn it on and off, basically, if you want to turn it off, because you don't want it to show, just click that button. Uh, this shows you the analytics, um, and this one here is the one to edit, and obviously delete, view, and copy. Um, so if I show you um, how to create one, so if, you, if you've got one already, uh, or if you want to create a new one, so you, you've logged in, you've gone to the menu, and you've gone to my pin boards. And from there, you create a pin board. So there are, we have a pro version, which is the paid, and you you have um, all the sort of you you control all the um, all the advertising. You can put comments on there, um, but we're just going to show you a free pin board. So click on this button there, and this brings you to this screen. So this is locked down because it's you've chosen a free one. Um, so if we create, um, does someone want to give me something yeah, to create? 
create you try mine if you want because i haven't actually done it yet actually no because i've got to give you passwords and bits haven't i well, what is your no, one no no well you've already got auto gloom uk we've just got to switch it over so it's probably uh, better yeah. to go either with pauline jack or alan because they don't have one yet yeah well i've just so, i've just emailed you my um username tim i don't know if that's any help yeah that's great i'll swap that over after this call um okay. does anyone want me to do a live demo Bravo. to create the sorry travel that'd be pauline Sorry, so travel. Gravel. Travel. Travel. Sorry. Gravel. She sells gravel. <laughs> dealing gravel. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So travel. The travel agent, actually. Travel sorry, agent. Pauline. Pauline does have her own voice. I'll shut up now. Okay. <laughs> and, and what's the title? Um, not just travel. She does gravel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You should Very use funny, that Jason. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you type in your title, uh, that will also give, automatically give you the URL. So you can change that. Um, so if you put in your title, if you're using um, apostrophes and bits and pieces, then this will just change to plain text for your URL. Um, to upload your background image, click here. Yeah. Um, and so. Um, I won't, I won't uh, add one for you. So this, will, if you don't add anything, it will have a default background image and a default street pin logo. Okay. Um, for, as this is a free account, then you can't change um, the ability to, um, to lock down who posts on there. Um, but on a paid one, you get to control everything. Whereabouts are you based? Well in, in Kent. So go to Kent. I thought that said Falaraki then. She sells gravel and Falaraki. Ah, uh, we haven't got Welling. No, you haven't. Uh, uh, might be under London. Yeah, I think country? it might be London. Um, let me have a look. It's not there either. Right. It doesn't exist. I'm going to have to have words. Where should we put it for now? Is, do you, is there? Excellent. Um, Bexley Heath. Bexley so, Heath. So, so Kent and Bexley Heath, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> Tim, what are you doing? <laughs> it's because it's too far over, isn't it? It's not Orpington or Bromley. You don't care. Bexley, there we go. It's good. <laughs> yeah, that does. Bexley, that do. <laughs> Yeah. So, obviously, you I didn't... end up in Gravesend. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't type in all the um, locations. We've just used the list. That, uh, um, and then, do you have a postcode or something? Um, DA sixteen. DA sixteen. <laughs> Welling. Yeah. 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 There you go. Okay. So, and then you can move this around to your precise location. Okay. So, um, when you log in, you can you can move that around. Um, oh wow! You are near Tesco Express. <laughs> what? Cool. Um, so when you, when I pass this over to you, just put in wherever you want. Uh, if it's yeah. your home and you don't want to use your home, then um, put it at say the um, High Street Roundabout or, or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, you can choose your fonts. So um, the the fonts and uh, the background color. So mm -hmm. you'll see. That, so this is like the headers, and this is the body text. Yeah. So you can change the background color. Of both of these and the text okay mm -hmm. um and then if it, this is I'll, I'll just put fall in to fill in so this is all everything about your your pin board and yeah. then just put a little hashtag travel um and whatever else that people might look for and then mm. you can add your website yeah uh, your youtube url that'll give you a little video in the left hand side Mm -hmm. uh, your email, your phone number, and your opening hours. If you don't want to have any opening hours, just unclick everything. Okay? Yeah. And then that's it. You press publish. So now, if we go back to our map, we go to Welling. Mm hmm
10. So as I say, putting the caveat about being slow when everyone's using YouTube in the house. I can't get on, when I'm using Safari, I can't get on LinkedIn today at all. It's driving me insane. Yeah, just bear with me. I just wondered if it was a local problem, because Jason, you're having problems with your um, internet. Yeah, yeah. My, my internet's horrendous at the minute. Right, so there we see, there is a new in. So this is now, oops, this is now not just travel. So right. anyone, anyone in this area or looking at Welling area, if you've got mm -hmm. any posts on there, this will all appear underneath here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, that's basically how to, to log in, to create a post, uh, create a pin board. Um, and if you let me know the name of your pin board, I'll add that to the hub. So right. um, I'll, I'll, after this, I'll go to admin and I'll put in not just travel, associate that with the BNI Lightning hub. So yeah. anything you put on there on your not just travel will also appear on there. So it's okay. the same, anything that goes on Jade Window Cleaning, Beauty Lounge, uh, Auto Gleam, anything you add there will also go onto the hub. I guess. How do I get into a, um, to um, adjust this? So um, if you if you log in. Yeah. So click on um, the log out. So when, when you click on this little icon here. Yeah. If, if you sign up, so you click on mm -hmm. sign yeah. up mm -hmm. and, then, and then let me know your username. Yeah. Then what I'll do is I'll swap that over to you. Right. And then, and then once I give you a shout, go into, well, log in once you're logged in. Mm -hmm. Go to my pin boards. Oh, and then amend it there. And then, and then you just click on this little thing here, which is the click to edit. Yeah. And then you can edit uh, and add your background image, your your colours, your mm -hmm. uh, your details. Okay. So everything you need to know is in my pin board, um, mm -hmm. and then you, you create posts directly onto a pin board, or you can create offers. I'll quickly show you offers. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, I don't want to over confuse things, um, but essentially, for example. There's this one for Babel Monkey, mm -hmm. um, and so we can have a look at so the analytics, see how this is performing. So this advert, for example, has been seen. Uh, the home stuff all got reset uh, two days ago, so uh, this is only for the last uh, two days that we've got this. Um, but this is um, it's really tailored, really localized uh, advertising. So. Um, Sarah's advert has got 751 total views uh, and it's been shown in lots of different places. So you'll see it's appearing on her own site as well as, as well on things like the BBA, uh, BBN, uh, Beckenham. So when you create a post, um, it appears either in the home, the hub or on your own pin board. But if you're creating uh, an offer, it can appear all over the place. So if you add an offer, um, by default, you'll see uh, this sale thing. So just click on these little icons here and you can change your, um, your image, change your um, category, your offer, uh, and then add in um, uh, your, your text. Uh, this, this will change as you write it. So, um, you'll just see as, as you write, then this is how your, your actual image will look. So you build this up on the left-hand side, how your offer looks. Um, you can change the font colors, you can change the background colors um, to, to match your brand. Um, then you add in as much detail as you like. Um, so all the different links, when it starts, when it ends. And then you can say, I, I just want to add it to my pin board. Um, or you can say, I'm looking for just travel ones. So I just say, well, I'm only looking to advertise to travel communities, um, or I'm just looking to advertise to people in a certain area. So if I was going to advertise to travel, I can, I got a choice of just two. But if I get rid of, um, if I just say I want to advertise on all, then 
I can just choose, actually, I want to advertise this one, this one, this one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, and you'll need credits to publish uh, a, a, um, an offer. So the offer is, um, if when it's being paid for, it's a pound a week. So you just say, well, I know my target audience is over there. Um, I'm going to choose all of the travel ones, or I'm going to choose all the ones in, in Orpington. Um, so, and it will just tell you how many credits you need. If it's if you, if you have a paid pin board and you want to put a promotion on your own pin board, it's free. Uh, it only costs if you want to advertise it to someone else. Uh, and if you've got a paid pin board and you don't want anyone else advertising it, or you don't want anyone else with a conflicting advert, you can control that all in your pin boards. So, in a, in a sort of whistle stop tour, that's how you'd create a post, a pin board. And an offer. Mm. Tim, is that a, is that a pound a week for the offer, or a pound a week for every person that you're including in the advert? No, no. So say you say you click all. Is it yep. a pound a week for for all of them? So it would be a pound a week per pin board. Right. Oh, okay. So it's it's sort of to try and focus. So you say, well, actually, I know that there are um, there, there's. Um, if there's a car rally going on, you think, well, actually, that's that's a really good place for me to advertise Auto Gleam. So you say, well, actually, that's where I want to put my advert on this week, and that'll cost you a pound. Mm -hmm. right. So, okay, in a so, nutshell, so, Tim, are you, are you Tim's calf? Sorry? Are you um, Tim's calf? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a test one. I think, I think that needs to be deleted, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so for people who aren't necessarily like Jack at the moment is um, he's an electrician, so he's not working. Um, so right now, um, the sorts of things that he could be posting about what with his pin board would be uh, could actually just be some fun stuff about what electricians get up to when they're bored at home during lockdown and stuff like that. Or, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, keep it clean. I don't please. think you should be doing that, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> or um, I don't know, uh, like potentially trying to connect with other electricians and see what they're getting up to at the moment, and see if they have any ideas of what they're doing. Or mm. do you see what I mean? So you can have more than one trade. So it's not like BNI where there's a lockout. It, it could be multiple different trades on there of of the same trade. Yeah, yeah. So the BNI Lightning is, is a hub, uh, but there's also um, hubs for other networking groups, uh, right. which are which are free to add to. So in terms of, uh, as far as I'm aware, there's there's no other lockdowns or or lock-ins. Um, so the about. hub basically just shows that we're part of BNI Lightning. Yeah, <laughs> but but your yours could be connected to multiple hubs. It could be that you say, well, actually, every time I put a, a comment on my pin board, it goes to BNI Lightning. It also goes to Bromley Business Network or Beckenham Business Association. How do you Orbiton make that Hub. happen? So at the moment, that's done from admin. So uh, just if you say, I, I want to be part of that board, um, as long as there's no restrictions. Um, so I know that um, the, the, most of the pin boards, the, the hubs out there um, are free, uh, free to join. Um, so I just need to, I'll do that from, from admin. Uh, you'll so how, see will, that, how will people know what pin boards there are already that they might want to be part, or oh, sorry, hubs there are out there that they might want to be part of? How do they find a list of those? Um, at the moment, there's, there's not a list as such. It's, um, it's, you, you can sort of look for an area. Um, so you can sort of go on, um, onto an area, you can sort of see there's a hub there. You can zoom out. Um, scroll around um there's another hub over there um, oh, right so you can cover just your area so you're not spread out everywhere you just cover the area you want to cover yeah yeah so um these, these hubs are sort of work in progress they're they're things that um we're working with a number of sort of um of community groups and business groups um how so many hubs have you got at the moment tim do you know ten something ten. like that so it's, it's you know we are a startup we are uh, yeah, getting going thanks. Uh, yeah. and, the, and the idea is that we are able to empower you guys to be able to promote yourselves and promote each other. Um, next month, there'll be a much better uh, way of sharing. So you can create a promotion once. Um, you can then target multiple places on StreetPin. And you can also share to, to Facebook and Twitter. So you can create it once, distribute it everywhere you need. Yeah. 
Okay, there's an FSB Bromley pin board as well as uh, hub, isn't there, Tim? Yep. So this one, um, this one is is um, they're doing a lot of webinars and stuff like that. So what we do, we add the webinar links in here, um, and then after the event, we add the YouTube library, uh, YouTube video. So th there's a library of all the different business continuity videos on there, uh, which I think is a great way of, of using it. So. You can go there to find out the next event, click on the link, register uh, if you can't make it or you want to catch up. So there's there's Chris's one where he, he did a um, keeping lean in quarantine. Um, so you can check out on FSB Bromley, you can check out his video. All oh, right. And if you scroll down a bit, there's an offer for loo rolls or something in there, isn't there? Is that from yeah. Tupo? Uh, no, that, that's actually from Chandra. So um, it's the sort of thing people were on a call. They were saying, oh, my God, I can't get hold of to toilet roll. And Chandra's like, did you not know I do this? I, I have office supplies, including toilet roll. And it's that sort of thing in terms of, um, you know, when you do your minute interview or uh, overview or, or whatever, you say, this is what I do. Then this is a great way of, you know, you can advertise or, or promote yourself directly onto the hub um, or and or promote yourself on your own um, your own pin board, which gives you double visibility. Um, but it's so like if, he, if he wants to post that on the Bromley Hub, yep. I mean, it might be different for him because I don't know if he's involved, but does that cost him a pound a week? No, so a post, a post is free. So the, these things here are posts. These, you see the sort of the, the jagged edges at the top, like right. a, a sort of a, a notepad. So you can put a post anywhere as long right, as the yeah. as long as the hub allows you so um that's sort of uh, particularly at the moment trying to make it easy for people to get started if you visit a pin board or a hub just click this little bad boy over there the little green button with a pencil in it click on that and off you go as long as you're logged in then you, you can, can add post on there. you can post so it could be that you're just sort of saying hi it could be that you're promoting um or and you can also like and comment and as we're a startup and we're getting going if there's anything that doesn't make sense or can be made easier let me know uh, and we'll we'll add it we'll we'll sort of factor it factor it in if we can mm. no it's cool. good it's good no how long have you been trying to get this up and running tim so well about eight years ago <laughs> uh, do, you, do you know sta travel so they're, they're the, the biggest student and youth uh, travel agent. So um, I was the global web manager there um, and they were asking what was the next big thing and I was sort of saying mobile, location, communities. Um, they agreed and we ended up uh, going down a partnership for a while, um, but that was purely app based uh, and then they changed to not doing any apps at all. Um, so I've been off on my own journey um, trying to make the, this updated. I've gone through lots of teams uh, a lot of time people think it's really cool to be part of a startup but don't actually want to do any any work um so it got to a point last year uh where it's just like right we need to put some money behind it so i've just borrowed some money get it get it up and running get it working um and um it's, it's going to be evolving from now on there's not really anything there's not really something like that out there is there um we, we, which one are you offer something relatively unique um and it's a way i don't think there's any other thing that collaborates like this in terms of communities churches because schools retailers and being able to come together um i think we're, we're relatively unique at the moment yeah do, do you need to have a business to set this up or can any tom dick and harry set it up to find stuff so anyone can set stuff up um the idea is that we really want to say well actually if it's a church then then they have a community and the, the pub does and, and the, the, um, uh, so the say, sorry mate go on go on I, I was just gonna say so you can just walk into the middle of a park and say this is where I play football every weekend and you know we struggle to get a team together so this does anyone want to join you know this is Gonington Park football let's meet at three o'clock in the afternoon and just have a, a, a pin board for that so I guess where you want to get to eventually is everyone sort of uses it like a google search engine and then so say for example julie from alpington wants her car washed and then she goes on street pin and types in alpington car wash and then for example if lou had one in alpington it'd come up 
or yeah. ugly. And then yeah, she yeah. contacts Lou just for the product. Yeah, so that's so it's be worth. That's essentially what it's, it's there for, isn't it? Yeah, it's real sort of live promotions and stuff like that. So if it's on a high street and, and it rains, the florist might say, I've got to chuck all my flowers away that go out of date today. So yeah. at three o'clock in the afternoon, just say, right, roses are half price. And it's that sort of instant local promotions that we're really trying to get to when, when, when people are using it enough. And it may be that you say, well, actually, I had a client that was booked in this afternoon. They've cancelled. So this is my service. I'll do this at 20 percent off or, you know, that sort of thing. So if you're following that person, you get a notification to say they've set up an offer. Yep. Oh, that's, that's handy. Yeah. Okay. And um, so at the moment, you can only follow um, pin boards, um, but as of hopefully next month, when the next release goes live, then you can follow the hubs as well. So if you follow the BNI hub, um, then anything that, that Jack promotes or Pauline promotes, you'll see that you'll get notifications for those. You can control the notifications to stop getting swamped, so you only get one a day, which is a summary of everything that's happened. So as well for, for something like this, presumably, sorry, uh, you could, so when lockdown kind of started, um, Jason actually put out um, a, a post on LinkedIn or Facebook or something like that to say, we're still out and about, We've, we, we have a fit and healthy team. If anybody is stuck indoors and self-isolating or, um, uh, yeah, and needs any supplies dropped off, let us know and we'll drop it off. Now, with his own pin board, he could have put that on there and put it like made it last three months or whatever so that people would still see it. And if anybody was logging in, they would be able to see that he'd put that post there basically. Yeah. And you get more visibility. Um, there's more longevity to those types of posts than there is potentially on something like Facebook, which everything drops off the bottom of the end of the newsfeed fairly quickly. Is that right? Mm. Mm, cool. Yeah. So, so this is always sort of randomized. So, anything that's still live still has the greatest chance of uh, well it's just it's, it's equality for posts and uh, and promotions that you know this this is the fsb one which has seemed to be you know quite successful with the webinars and stuff like that so it's a, it's a library of stuff as well as being able to promote yourselves yeah no, it's good it's good. Yeah, good on you team it looks good yeah, well thank you i'm gonna set this up i think I've done little noodles for lunch. Um, <laughs> all it keeps going on about. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm going to set this up in a bit, I think, and have a little play around with it. Well, you've Lovely. already got one set up. You just need to create Sign your own up. account yeah. Yeah, and then send the, the login details to Tim and he will transfer your pin board to you. Wicked. That's but Jack, I'll you don't have one yet. Um, and, one and, and obviously, as a, as a business, I mean, I appreciate that you, you cover quite a wide area, but you're still a local business and there's still value for you having sort of a pin board and people being able to go, I need an electrician in Orpington. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, no. No, I do, I do think it can work. Yeah. I, I think, it's, I think it's brilliant for people like, um, you know, I, I, who can I use as an example? Like, I don't know, like Pauline, for example, she, she does a lot of offers and that on holidays mm -hmm. that she brings into B&I. Mm -hmm. Like, for someone like that, it, it can work brilliant. Like, like Tim said, offers and that, it can work brilliantly. For me, I think I, I will still set one up because I think it can be useful. But I think it'll be harder for a trade to sort of... Do you get what I mean? Like, Because I don't really a, give out offers. Do you get what but, I mean? But it's also awareness. So in terms of if, you, if someone says, I'm looking for... If someone... You know that um, if someone goes... You can put up electrical safety checks and things like that. It doesn't have to be an offer. Yeah. Yeah, you no, can that's just what I'm saying. Can, I'm, not, I'm not saying it won't work for, an, for a contractor or something like that. It mm. definitely would work, 100%. Because, as I said, when it gets to the stage when, you know, like, you know, Joanne from Alpington wants an electrical test done, and mm. then she goes on there and types in Alpington electrician, then obviously my little pinball might come up in mm. Alpington. And then, and then she can contact me. So I, I definitely think you've done well, Tim. I think it, I think it can work for everyone, 100%. I'm just Great. saying, I think, I think that the market for someone who does offers is very, very good on it. And it's also good for anybody who provides a service and, and gets last minute cancellations. I think Lauren, for example, it's yeah. going to be a great one for her. If she, had, if she suddenly ends up with an afternoon where there's not much going on, she can put an offer up saying, you know, mm. 
Fine. Very true. Like the note, the notification side of it. That's a very good aspect as well. I think that's well good. What's the What's the best way to go around getting followers? Then what's the best way to go around and get your pinball likes? So you could follow? post, Lou. I'm a, post. You could go. I'm in Alpington. Anyone fancy a pint? <laughs> and I'll see it, and I'll go. Yeah, I'll see you half hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't. It won't be long. A couple of weeks, hopefully, mate, and then I will be posting that. So we we have um, a sharing module that's going to come next next month. So the next release is is big. It's in our test environment at the moment. So we've got a number of different features. Uh, we we keep building new stuff. Um, sharing is a is a key part that that should be coming um, next month. So you'll be able to share your. Um, your your pin boards, your offers, your promotions. Um, and you, if you could share them to within Street Pin, then you can share them to all the social medias as well. Okay. Okay. So at the moment, you just put stuff like that onto your own pin board, and um, and then obviously you have to associate everybody's pin boards with various hubs. Uh, yes, I do at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So. I basically need to think about which pin boards are available at the moment that these guys would benefit from being connected to. Yeah, so as in there's the Bromley Business Network, there's the Orpington Hub, um, the Beckenham um, the Shopping Directory, um, there's, uh, there's various other hubs, um, but um, Sarah, we, we can sort of um, have, a, have a chat and say, you know, we can put them in every, everywhere that's, um, that's allowing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then any post that they put on their pin board will automatically be associated with those hubs as well. It will appear on it will, if you write something on your pin board and you're associated to three hubs, then it appears in four places, uh, as well as anywhere in location. So it will also appear down down here. So you'll appear on the hubs, your pin boards, and here. And geographical searches. Yeah. Cool. Team, you should go on Dragons Den. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TV show. I did actually have a I did actually have a product with um, Peter Jones Tycoon. He did a spin-off show called Tycoon, um, and I had a product on there um, a while ago. But that's a, a different story. <laughs> right. Okay. Does anybody have any more questions? No, I, I, I didn't understand at the beginning, but now you've gone into more detail. Yeah, yeah no, I, I understand it. more what I it is it. now. Hundred percent. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yes, hang on. Thank you. Well, well um, thank you. And there's a um, obviously any questions, ping me on um, either talk to Sarah or ping me on the um, WhatsApp group. Yeah, um, wicked. Um, and yeah, let him know. Um, like, sign in, get your sign up, and then Tim can, and let Tim know what the details are, so he can assign you your pin boards that he's created. Jack, you're kind of on your own, starting from scratch at the moment. <laughs> I'm lucky, right. but I can set you up. So have a go. If you don't, if you don't, if it doesn't make sense, um, give me a shout. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, Tim. Thank so, you. Uh, cool. Thanks thank all. You. Thanks Cheers. guys. Have a good Cheers. day. Cheers. Bye. 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 See you all. See you later. Bye guys. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Well, all makes sense, Paulie.